For the 2019 update, SolidWorks has added a few updates to the UI to help personalize the software and make it more accessible. Additionally, they've included an announcement that SolidWorks will only be available for Windows 10 machines starting next year with SolidWorks 2020. To get started with the new options this year then, you can see that I have an assembly that I've been working on, as well as its components open and minimized at the bottom of the screen in several windows. If I hover over them, you can see a thumbnail preview of the window appears, along with its name and file path. So I no longer need to remember what order the documents were minimized in, nor try and guess if a part is the pin or pin holder. In addition to helping organize the documents I have open, SolidWorks 2019 has added some customization to help me keep my recent documents organized. If I click the Home icon and go to the Recent tab, you can see a preview of all documents I've recently accessed. From here, you'll notice that there are now quick filters that can be used to sort files by type, as well as a search bar to quickly find a specific recent file, and a Remove dropdown to clear out the window and make it easier to navigate. If I close this and open the Options dialog box to General System Options, you can see an area at the top to control what is displayed in the Recent Documents tab. From here, you can choose to display between 1 and 100 documents, as well as choose if you want documents opened from other documents, such as part files opened from an assembly or drawing, to be displayed in the Recent Documents. The last UI customization improvement I want to touch on is that you can now reorder your task pane tabs. I'll right-click on any of the task pane tabs or headers and select Customize to bring up the dialog box. From here, I can use the checkboxes on the left to choose what is displayed, and the radio buttons on the right to select which tab will be the default. Note as well that by clicking and dragging a tab name, I can change its order in the task pane and the change is immediately updated. To close the dialog, I'll simply click anywhere outside it, and I'm all set up. As a final note for any heavy keyboard users, SolidWorks will now allow you to navigate shortcut menus and bars with the arrow keys, as well as pull up the shortcut menu with Shift F10.